ISM Middle East's wealth of sweets and snacks on the horizon, we catch up with Katerina Rusiaga and Mark Napier of the organising team to catch up on the lowdown for what to expect for this year's event pack show. In that question, I'm obviously very excited to see uh, the 24 edition because, as you know, we have um, we have faced have, have been facing the constant growth of ISM Middle East already in the past. And take, uh, talking about 23 and the rebranding that we did two years ago, we just joined our forces of Köln Messe and Dubai World Trade Center even stronger to set up a stronger concept and a really strong communication. We were adding new features that are just state of the art to this edition. And I'm really looking forward to see how it is going, how it will be perceived by the exhibitors. You might have seen the numbers that we're communicating already. So we will have 550 plus exhibitors this year. So which is a double in, in exhibitor numbers. We will be doubled in size. We have 50 plus countries attending. So it's going to be really impressive and really huge. And um, the, the demand for the ISM Middle East is still growing and we, we are still facing with a, or dealing with a waiting list. So it's it's not reached it had, or did not reach the end so far. And we wow. set ourselves the goal of doubling the size of the show. Right? And, um, you know, it was an ambitious, project right? an ambitious project we said what the event really needs this is is its scale um, we've been seeing excellent feedback from our exhibitor and buying communities over the previous years and the one chink in the show's offering was was volume size and scale right? and that was the primary goal that we set for ourselves and um, uh, incredible to have pulled that off. Uh, obviously, there's been huge investment in content and speakers and educational program and marketing activity and dining. But, you know, when these ambitious ideas come together, then that's what makes it enjoyable. Great stuff. And um, from your perspective, Mark, then, uh, because you've spent a long time in the Middle East now, so uh, what makes the ISM Middle East a special show in your eyes? It's it's all the things that are enjoyable in life, right? And, you know, we can, we, can, we can talk about the products that are there. Uh, but these these are all the all the you know we, we say sweet treats right these are these are the indulgences that make life pleasurable right and and you know um, certainly you know when we're having a tough time I, I think all you know most of us can be familiar as well I'll cheer myself up and um, you know I'll grab a chocolate. You know, and uh, it might now be, you know, 80% uh, cocoa, you know, dark chocolate, you know, with a healthy piece of fruit on there somewhere. But, you know, we reach for the chocolate when we're there. But here we reach for confectionery when there is celebration, right? And um, it, it's, as you say, I've been here for quite some time, and it's, it's one of the things that I notice every time I travel back to Europe and then I come back to the Middle East. You know, every celebration around the world, right, is celebrated with some form of confection. You know. I think what I notice here as well, it's also the hospitality and gifting market, it just, it, you, you know, you meet somebody, um, you go to visit them, you go to an appointment, you take a small gift or box of chocolates or candies or, and, um, you know, they have to be presented in a nice way. They have to be packaged nicely. They have to, you know, a gift has to look as if some time and thought has 
gone into it, right? And um, uh, and that's uh, an area and an aspect of the market that I think has just shown incredible growth over recent years. So how pleased were you with last year's results? And also linked to that, um, how much did you enjoy being on the, the panel that you led there on the discussion panel that was part of last year's show? And to see the result and to talk to the exhibitors and the visitors and see and perceive their reaction and what we planned and how it was perceived was exactly uh, the best case scenario that we were thinking of. And I, I had several discussions with the exhibitors on site and they were that successful and that convinced that ISM Middle East is the platform to really make good business and to meet the right buyers that they are looking for in order to enter the market. So I have seen only smiling faces. Um, they were pretty satisfied. I received quite a lot of um, thank you emails afterwards, after the show, and they were looking forward and, and contacting me very early already. And I think it was the same for Mark and Mark's team to, to be back on board in 25. So. The rebooking rate that we were facing was not, we were not able to calculate that. We were, of course, hoping for it. But uh, 23 definitely proved that we are here to stay and that we are as big and as better and bolder as we stayed. So. The, the conference is far more robust now. We have the space, we have the time, we have the rooms. I think something like 120 uh, sessions running over the course of three days. A private label can now be a focus within that. Yes, of course. We, uh, and there are topics about how to start up a business, about sourcing machinery and equipment, and, you know, changes in um, ingredients, uh, um, about supply chain issues. Yes, they continue to be that. But now they're phrased wholly in the context of, of the space that we operate in. And I think that's a good, good thing for it. Um, and of course, Proof of the pudding will be on the uh, 24th September when we open the doors, right? Oh. Are there any sort of breakthrough trends that you are seeing this year that uh, for the Middle East that are coming to the fore? Well, obviously, or well, let's say the, the biggest trends that I can see is definitely still the growth in chocolate consumption. That is, uh, let's say the region is defined by and still as the highest consumption in the world so and you can still see that and we can still perceive it because the demand is so high uh, of course on top of that the topics like natural uh, basically what mark already uh, informed us about in his introduction kind of is um, the healthy way of snacking and and chocolate even so dark chocolate um having some some add-ons and so talking about sustainability as well. So all these, I would say worldwide trends are, are taking place in the MENA region and in the D Dubai specific as well. Because so. people always love to have a good um, feeling when they treat themselves with treats. And yes. the better the manufacturers and producers communicate how good these treats are, how how premium the, the ingredients are how premium the taste is, how is how special the flavors are. The the feeling for the consumer is always nicer than the other way around. 